last day we are discussing about convex combination for the mix strategy so what is convex combination convex uh, so let's start again. convex combination so convex combination i think i have said lambda r1 plus or lambda ri i think i said plus 1 minus lambda rj if is greater than or equal to rk so two rows ri and rj i a through and j through that i am denoting as ri and uh, rj is the j through so ri and rj are the i a through and the j through so uh, ours the convex combination means lambda ri plus 1 minus lambda rj is greater than or equal to rk so corresponding elements we are comparing and lambda what is lambda lambda is greater than or equal to 0 lambda is lying between 0 and 1 so if i write like this so lambda is a positive fraction lambda is lying between okay if i write this way lambda is lying between 0 and 1 so lambda is a positive fraction if the this is called convex combination convex combination of two rows if it is greater than the third row or another other row then that r row rk will be drawn row k row will be dropped i think this is quite a tricky one uh, and for example i have written i was i have written half r1 plus half r2 so as i was writing that is called no, convex combination could be like this half r1 plus half r2 is greater than equals to r3 so you multiply first row with half each of the elements of the first row if it is multiplied with half say let, let, let me give an example like uh, see see still people are coming in how half r1 plus half r2 is greater than or equals to r3 so these two values this is lambda this value the half is lambda and 1 minus lambda is also half so the convex combination is something like that two fractions you have to use the values in such a way so that they are the fraction sum of the fraction is equals to one either half half or it could be uh, two third one third or three fourth one fourth or one fourth three fourth it depends upon it depends upon what are the values of the row so, say let me give an example say think think about say one two three zero four zero five one and one four uh, one one so let's let's take let's take this uh, so row mean let's take an example like this so find out row mean row mean is zero here it is zero here it is one and row mm -hmm. max is four Achha, ita hobe na. Ita two kore dila, huh? and column max is 4 uh, then this is also 4 and this is 5, five and this is two. 2 okay so max of row min is 1 and mean of column max is 2 so that means this this problem does not have a does uh, this problem does not have a uh, saddle point so it has a mixed strategy now let let us let us try to find out whether we can use uh, uh, because there are three rows and four columns so whether we can we can use that uh, um, uh, dominance property or not so if I compare first row with second row so first row with second row we cannot compare because here first row one is less than four but two is greater than zero so that cannot be so one first row with uh, third row let's talk or compare first row with third row so first row 1 with 1 yes okay 2 is less than 4 but 3 is greater than 1 so hence it also cannot be uh, so row dominance also cannot also cannot be uh, cannot be taken up now uh, now th think about 
second row and third row. So four is greater than one, zero is less than four. So yes. So row dominance cannot be done. Okay. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Do you follow? Yes, so sir. So row dominance property cannot be used. Yes, now sir. Check about column. Check column. column. Uh, I do not know. I, 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 whatever came to my mind, I have tried to give that. So first column with second column, can it be? Can it be compared? So no, no, that is that is also not possible. Sure. Uh, second column, fourth column. I don't think column also be. Yes. Yes. So first column, first column and third column. First column and third column can be compared, isn't it? Yes. Three sir. is greater yes, than sir. one. Five is greater than four, and one is greater than one is equal to one. One so, is equal to. So C three is greater than equals to C one, isn't it? C three is greater than equals to C one, so C three will be dropped. Column three, in case yes, of sir. column third column will be dropped. So I drop column three. Then also there are three rows and three columns. So one one yes. One two four zero uh, and two zero zero one. So, as you can see, two is greater than zero, but zero is less than one. So, now we have we have something three cross three. Can you can you please? I'm just rubbing it off. Can you can you please repeat? Uh, give me the uh, give me the data. Give me the values. So can you please? So please. Yes, sir. One two. One two zero. One two zero. Four zero one. Four zero one. One four two. One four two. So this is my matrix. Now I have three rows and three columns. Now let's let us try to use dominance. Whether we can use dominance or not. Now now if you if you check R one. Is less than equals to half R two plus half R three. So what I mean by that, you multiply second row by half and third row also by half means. So if you multiply four by half, what happens? It is becomes two. Then zero, then half, isn't it? If you multiply, so from where half, have we got this half? We are assuming lambda is no, half. It's, it's okay. a, uh, what I'm saying is, is yes, lambda is. I'm assuming lambda is half, and one minus ha one lambda is half. That's what I've said in the last class. It's a trial and error method. What which would what value will be suitable? You do not know. So you have to use different combinations, and that's a trial and error method that you need to do. That's what. Uh, that's what. i was just trying to explain so if you multiply this if if you are taking lambda as half so 1 minus lambda will also be half if you are taking lambda as 1/3 uh, then the 1 minus lambda part will be 2/3 like that so here simply we can check we can see that uh, abar uh, can you can you please tell me the data again 1 2 so 1 2 0 4 0 1 Four zero one. One four two. One four two. Four two. So, so if I am multiplying first second row by half and third row by half, so it becomes four by two plus this one by one becomes one by two. So four by two plus one by two is five by two. So five by two I am comparing with one. So five by two is greater than one. That's fine. Hello, do you get my point? No, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I am multiplying four by half, so that becomes four by two, and this one by half, that becomes half. So when I am comparing these two half, I have written half R two plus half R three. So and the corresponding elements we are comparing. এটাকে আর এটাকে হাফ দিয়ে গুণ করে যোগ করব সো ইফ আই অ্যাড দেম দিস উইল বিকাম 5 বাই 2 তাই নয় কি 4 প্লাস 1 5 ডিভাইড বাই 2 সো 5 বাই 2 ইজ গ্রেটার দ্যান ইকুয়াল টু ইয়েস স্যার ইজ গ্রেটার দ্যান 1 দেন 0 ইনটু হাফ ইজ 0 এন্ড 4 ইনটু হাফ ইজ 2 সো 
if you are comparing with two with this, then it becomes two. They are equal. And if you multiply half and half, so it becomes half plus one. That's one. That is three by two. So if so, so uh, I, I'll write again. So I'll write. I'll write again. I'll write again. So one two zero. I remember. Follow. Follow. Four. Four zero one. Four zero one. One four two. One. Four two. Two. So if I do half r two plus half r three. My this com linear combination becomes five by two, then two and three by two. A three t element ke simplify ko leta hobe ki na dekho. Four into half yes, is sir. this yes, half, and I'll 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 compare yes, this with this. So five by two is greater than one, two is equals to two, and three by two is greater than zero. So by this linear combination, this convex combination, not linear, linear as well as convex, this convex combination is greater than equals to R1. So I am comparing position wise. I am comparing position five by two. So I am comparing one. This with this two, I am comparing with this two, and this three by two, I am comparing zero. So this particular linear convex combination is greater than. The value of R1. Hence, I can say that R1 can be dropped. So that is the meaning of convex combination. Is it okay? Have you followed? Uh, as we have defined that uh, for uh, B, B is the losing player. He is trying to minimize his loss. So in any two columns convex combination, if it is less than the third column, then the Bigger column will be dropped. For column, it is the other way round. For row, it's the the bigger thing will be retained, and for column, the smaller things will be retained. Okay, so that is what is the convex combination means. So in this case here, as we have said, the convex combination of row two and row three are greater better than the row one. So R one will be dropped. So I have dropped R one. Then now we have uh, three. Two cross three, you can use graph, or or you can again use that uh, that convex combination for column also. Yes, in this case also, if you do convex combination of no, uh, just just let let me check, let me check four and one. No, here convex combination of any two columns cannot be uh, lesser than the third column. You can check, uh, maybe maybe it's possible, but finding out that uh, that particular. Uh, lambda value and one minus lambda value is quite difficult. St standard way we use half half one third two third one fourth three fourth or, or three fourth one fourth two means you can try several values but how many values you will try it it's up to it takes a time and it's not very that's why I initially I tried to uh, try to uh, say uh, try to stick to the two basic rules I didn't say the Uh, the convex combination rule initially, if you remember in the previous class. So uh, our basic idea is to convert any way or the other to either two rows or two columns. Then we can always use the graphical method to find out what are the two strategies for the other person remains. So now we have uh, quickly. Can you quickly complete the problem? Can you quickly complete the problem? So please do, please do complete the problem. I am also doing. Now we have two rows and three columns. So draw a graph and find out the probabilities quickly, quickly. Please do it. Sir, sir, आगे दिने सर एक टा बाकी चिलो सर. आगे दिने की बाकी चिलो. So as we have said, uh, drawing this graph, we can see that this is the maximum point. So uh, the two strategies that are kept, uh, the intersection of these two strategies is the maximum point. So these two strategies are. Four uh, one and one two, so these two are kept, and zero four is omitted. So I have just removed this. Now it has, now it is two cross two matrix. So we can use the algebraic formula. So al using algebraic formula, we can get the value of p one as uh, p one as one by four, and similarly p two as uh, three by four, and we can also calculate q one and q two as one by four and three by four, and the value of game of the game as. Uh, 8 by 4. So finally, 
Finally, we will write down the answer as S A star. So A had three strategies, na? A had three strategies: one, two, and three. Uh, and uh, what we get is uh, uh, a zero, one by four, and three by four, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And S B star, S B star, just tell me. B had four studies. Sorry, one, two, three, and four. So, so B, which are which are the strategies that were removed? For B, which are the strategies were removed? Hello. What are the strategies? Third strategy. Huh? Huh? Third strategy we removed. And and another one. I think there are two strategies that we have removed. For so B. third and one. First. So two strategies. Yeah. So which are the two strategies we have removed? Third and first. First and third. Third and first. So yes. The probabilities are zero, one by four, zero, three by four. And the value of the game was, I think, seven by four. Seven by four. Seven by four. So that completes our problem. Uh, 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 this problem. That completes this problem.